and welcome back to my channel and to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Nicola and I make lifestyle videos and today I have a Primark haul for you. Um, I haven't been to Primark, well I have been to Primark a few times recently but not for myself, uh, mostly for my daughter um, and um, I do feel actually they have more stuff for her age there now. I go around and I look and I'm like, uh, I'm now local Primark isn't the best uh, but it's okay. Anyway, I went in today because I was child free and uh, also I'm on a day's holiday from work so I thought I'd have a little mooch and I picked up a few bits which I thought I would show you um, but before I do I just wanted to share um, some jewellery that I have been sent so if you've been watching my channel for a while you will know that I've done a few collaborations with Ana Luisa uh, before and I absolutely love their jewellery I cannot recommend them enough and I'm not just saying that because they've sent me this stuff um, I mean I am extremely grateful and I'm very lucky that they have but I wear their jewellery all the time, I love it. And I love it particularly because it is so affordable, it's amazing quality jewellery, but it's really affordable. If you have a look on the website, you'll see, you know, there is a, um, there's a sale on a lot of the time. Um, I've actually got a discount code in the description box below, which will get you 20% off as well. Um, but it's just, the jewellery is just so beautiful. And I often go on, I think, oh, I'd like to buy a friend, you know, something nice, some jewellery for birthday or a family member. And I go and look and I think, oh, it's just unaffordable. I just can't afford any of the things. But Ana Luisa, their jewellery is just so affordable and it's so beautiful as well. So um, I picked up a few bits, which I will show you. Um, in a box here. Um, the other thing which is really good about them is they are carbon neutral. And that's both um, packaging and product. So their packaging arrives in a little box. I know somebody who will take this box um, because if you don't already know, we have a Lego business and we send out little boxes of Lego and pieces and things. So this will come in very useful. So it will get reused. Um, he sent me a little card, which is lovely. And then three pieces of jewelry. Now actually I'm wearing some earrings, which I've got from Ana Luisa before. I'm going to come in close. Um, if you can see, they're these little huggies. Um, it looks like sort of two, but it's it's just one earring and it's little um, diamonds on this side, not real diamonds, um, and then got the, just a gold hoop. Um, and they're really lovely. They're so easy to put on because they just clip in at the back. They don't, I've got lots of other hoop earrings that you have to put the one hoop inside the other, you know, little you've got to fit them in like a little slot it in and it's so hard to put on especially when you've got nails um so these ones are great and i actually bought some more of these um so i will show you where are they so all of the jewelry comes in these little pouches which are so sweet um and obviously can be reused or you can keep the jewelry in them um so i actually picked up these ones again but in silver so there you go and look how beautiful they are and they look so lovely on um, and as I say, they're really easy to put on and I just, I couldn't recommend them more. I'm actually going to give these to, um, my son's girlfriend. I'm going to, there's going to be a little Easter gift for her, um, because I already have them in gold. Um, and I thought she would absolutely love these. So I'm going to give those to her, but they are so beautiful. So, um, I got those and then next up which is also a gift for somebody else but somebody who you may know has a name beginning with p and that is my daughter phoebe so this is her little easter gift but how beautiful is that so that's a gold necklace you can get any um letter you like you can put on um this also comes in silver so if you wanted a silver version you could get a silver one um but they all come in these little card um, things which obviously are recyclable and then again in this little pouch um, so yeah I just thought that was so lovely and she's going to absolutely love that so I picked that one up as well um, so as I say you know I mean these are gonna be little Easter gifts um, for the girls but um, you know you could buy, treat yourself as well which I have done with the third thing that they have sent me um, which is this bracelet which I thought was so different so I've bought some I've got some bracelets from Ana Luisa before which are slightly more dainty where I mean all their all their jewelry is so elegant um but this is more like a like a watch strap if you like so I will put it on and just show you I just thought it was kind of nice it's like a little bit more chunky um it does come with extra links hold on a minute I'm gonna have to do it on my lap and then uh, I will show you there we go so 
it's almost like a little watch strap. Um, I think this also comes in gold and silver. Um, I got the silver one and I just thought it was really nice, kind of a little bit more chunky than a dainty bracelet, but still elegant at the same time. Um, and I actually think, because I my Fitbit is, if I, I've got it here, I'll show you. My Fitbit is this silver um, watch with this similar strap. So actually you could even wear it next to it and it wouldn't look out of place or I could wear it my other wrist. The reason I'm not showing you my other wrist is because it's got, <laughs> it's got this on, which is for the dance show that my daughter is in, or dance show, dance festival. And I'm going back there later, so I can't take it off. <laughs> um, so I'll show you on this wrist. That's why I've taken my watch off. But, um, but yeah, I just think it's so lovely um, and really solid, but good quality. And as I said, it comes with some extra links in the little pouch. This one came in this pouch. Um, it's got a little card, the same, and then some extra links in here if you need to make it bigger. Um, you can do. Um, so yeah, that is my little haul from Ana Luisa. So if you want to go and have a look, you can do. I'll leave everything in the description box below. I'll leave the links and um, the code for 20% off. There is a sale, I think, on at the moment. But if you miss the sale, then um, you can still use your, the code and get 20% off. Go and treat yourself or a loved one. Um, and yeah, I think you will, anyone who's watching this channel will absolutely love the stuff that they've got on there. Um, and yeah, go and check it out and uh, let me know if you bought anything. Right, so from amazing quality, beautiful, elegant jewelry to slightly less amazing quality and elegant clothing uh, from Primark. I bought lots of things for myself. Um, well, a few things for myself, not loads. And I bought a couple of homey bits and then a couple of makeup y bits. So yeah, I just thought I would show you what I picked up um, and I will try them on as well. So I'll do a little cutaway and you can see what they look like on. Um, so let's start, why don't I start with um, a couple of makeup bits that I bought. Um, I actually got two blushes. I actually use Primark Blusher at the moment. I use it for me and then also Phoebe uses it, um, we use it for her stage makeup for the dance festivals she does. Um, so I picked up two. One is Secrecy and one is Desire. Uh, so one's slightly darker than the other. Um, I actually find it's really good actually Primark uh, makeup. I don't really have a problem with it. It's um, it's quite pigmented, it lasts quite well, um, and it's obviously cheap. This was £1.50, so I got those two colours. Um, I will probably have the lighter one, and she will probably have the darker one, I think. I'm not sure. I'll see how they look on. But mine, I'm pretty much down to the pan on my one, so I needed a new one. And her one that she has in her makeup bag, the plastic bit has broken, so um, it's just open. So we needed a new one. So I picked up those, and then I also picked up... A couple of um, blender sponges, beauty blenders. They were one pound fifty as well. I don't use these for me, but I do use them for her when we do her makeup. For again, for her festivals, and um, the one we've got has been washed and washed several times. So I thought I treat us to some new ones. So I picked up those. Um, right, let's do the homey bits while we're sat here. Right, I picked up a couple of diffusers because I've actually got two diffusers on the go, one in the toilet here and one in the utility, I think, that are Christmas ones. <laughs> so I thought it's probably about time I uh, removed them and put some more fresh scents um, up. So I picked up this one, which is eucalyptus, which I thought actually would be really nice for a bathroom or for utility. It was just £2.50. I don't know what it looks like inside. I've not opened it. So why don't we just do it here? So I'm not sure whether it is. it looks nice or whether it's just... Oh, it looks like just a clear bottle, so lots of packaging. It's got just um, wood coloured uh, sticks. Okay, oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is really nice, actually. Um, so it's just a clear bottle with um, a gold top and gold writing on there. Um, that's so pretty. So that will go really nicely, I think, in the bathroom. Um, or in the, um, we've got like a cloakroom on our middle floor, so that will look really nice in there. I don't know what it, let's see if I can see what it smells like. Oh no, it's got, a, it's got a stopper in, so I need to get something to take that out. Um, but yeah, love that. And that was, if I didn't say, that was £2.50. And then I also got the same one, um, I mean, same diffuser, but different scent. So in the bergamot scent. Um, <clears throat> so it's a bit, there we go. Um, and that was obviously was also £2.50. So I'll use that one probably in the utility. And then I also bought a little candle, which was in bergamot and vetiver. Um, this little scented candle, I love the colour, and it's in a little tin. 
um, with gold writing. I just thought this was really lovely. And this was two pounds. And uh, this one smells so good. It's it's quite menthol-y. I think that's the bergamot, maybe. Um, yeah, it kind of very fresh. So really nice for the kitchen. This will actually look lovely in our kitchen because our kitchen tiles are this colour. Um, so I think that's where I will put, use that one. So yeah, really chuffed with that. So now let's go on to the clothing. I did buy masses of, of clothing. I did have a look. Like, so much of it yeah, it is very much for a younger audience, I think. Um, lots of very short dresses. There was one dress, actually, like a linen-y type dress, which I liked, but just wasn't sure it was for me. Um, but, uh, yeah, other than that, there wasn't really anything that I liked. Um, some lovely suits, um, trouser suits, like pastel ones, and shorts and blazers, which would look lovely if you are in your 30s or younger, um, but not for me. Um, and I know when you're older you can wear anything, but I just couldn't pull it off. <laughs> so anyway, what I did buy was this um i just really like the colors of this it's very muted very neutral um it is like a rugby shirt style top um and it but it's shortish um it is quite boxy um a quite a boxy fit i bought a, an extra large i wouldn't be usually an extra large um but i wanted it to be slightly bigger oh it's got a mark on it it's got a mark on it <laughs> Oh, well, I'm sure I can get it off. Um, it's just got a little mark on the bottom. But yeah, I just really like the um, fit of it. Um, yeah, the style of it. Um, and yeah, just thought it would look really nice with a pair of jeans for the spring. Um, and it was £10. So I got an extra large, which is a, an 18 to 20. So really big. Um, but I wanted it bigger. So we'll see. Hopefully it won't be too big. I actually thought I got a 14 to 16. But that's USA 14 to 16. So that'll teach me not to read the labels. Um, but never mind, I think it looks a good size, so I, I think it'll look nice. Um, so I'll try it on and you'll see in the cutaway whether or not it was suitable. Right, so this is the um, rugby type top. I love this. I did think it was gonna be too big, but actually this is if any smaller. I think it would have been too small. So if you're gonna buy one of these, I would go, go size up. Um, uh, you could, I and mean, I wouldn't wear it with these check trousers, I don't think. But you could tuck it in if you wanted to. It's just about long enough to do that. Um, uh, the arms are a really good length. I often find arms aren't quite long enough, um, but they're really good length. Um, the collar's not too big. I just really love this. Um, yay. Then next up, I bought some bits for running. Um, as you know, I'm a runner now these days. <laughs> I haven't run for five days I was supposed to go today but we've just been so busy I just haven't had a chance so hopefully tomorrow I will get to go out so I bought I do actually love Primark workout wear um I have like a blue like sports bra crop top thing and leggings that I got from there um which I wear most of the time and I did buy a pair of black leggings um a couple of weeks ago uh because I needed some different ones for running and um they are, I bought, they only had a medium and I thought, oh, they'll be fine because they're stretchy and they are fine. They're okay. But when I'm running, they start to fall down <laughs> and you might think that's because they're too big. They're not. It's because they're too small. I can't pull them up high enough. Um, so they're fine for, you know, every now and then, but they get a bit annoying. So I wanted the same pair and see if they had a large and they did. Um, so these are they. Um, they're just plain black leggings. They have like um, a slight rib. Can you see on there? Oh, there you can see it. There we go. They have a slight rib down the side. Um, that goes all the way down the bottom. They have the little logo on the back. Um, but otherwise, they are just plain black leggings. They're very soft, very stretchy. Um, they have a slight cuff around the bottom. Um, but they're great for running. I really, really like them. These are exactly the same as the blue ones I have. Um, Phoebe actually has a pair of these in a size six or something really, really tiny. And she wears those for dance and she loves them too. Um, so yeah, I can thoroughly recommend. These were just eight pounds. So super cheap for um, workout wear. And as I say, I have these already and I thoroughly recommend them. So um, I will show you what they look like in the cutaway. And then I also bought um, two t-shirts. So at the moment I've been running in either um, my leggings, like crop top, t-shirt and hoodie, like not, not um, 
it's like a running hoodie, um, a zip up one, um, or sometimes like a raincoat, which I think you will have seen in the last video I did, um, or without the t-shirt and just the zip up. The other week I went um, to a work do and I was gonna go to the gym afterwards, but I didn't, I decided to go for a run. I hadn't taken uh, my, my hoodie, so I had to wear, just wear a t-shirt and it was freezing, absolutely freezing. But once you get going, it's fine. But it is gonna be t-shirt weather soon for running like it probably is now to be honest um yeah we are gonna get some spring weather i hope so anyway anyway i needed a couple of t-shirts i've only got one um for running in so um i got these i got them both in a medium which is 12 to 14 um and i got a black one so these are um what's the material i don't know what you call them well they're made up for 50 percent recycled polyester but they are you know they're this sort of and you see look, you can see through it there you go <laughs> I think when I was at school we used to call it Airtex. I don't think it's called that. I don't think that's the real name for it. But anyway, they're kind of silky and um breathable. Um so really good for running in. So I got that one um as I say in a medium. They're four pounds fifty. And I also got this beautiful blue, um, which I think is so lovely. Um blue one. And yeah, they're not tight, they're just baggy, so great if you don't want to, you know, skin tight gear for working out in um so yeah i've got those two so this is the um i just put on the blue t-shirt and uh yeah really nice it fits really well it's kind of comes down a bit over the bum so you don't have to show your bum if you don't want it um you could get a slightly bigger size if you wanted it longer um but i really like this and it's really yeah really airy so won't get too sweaty if you're wearing it for working out. Um, equally, you could wear it for lounging around the house if you wanted to. Great for doing a bit of housework. <laughs> um, but yeah, love that. Um, black one is obviously the same. And these are the leggings. Um, they are just black leggings. <laughs> um, nothing much else to say about them. Sorry, the camera's at a really dodgy angle because I'm tall and it's really hard to be able to show things um, without sort of chopping my head off. But um, yeah, these are they. Um, they are slightly big around the waist, but that's because <laughs> I need it bigger to get over my long legs um, and then they won't fall down. So um, yeah, as I say, I had the, the medium ones before and they fell down all the time. So these should be much better. Um, they're super comfy and great for running. I'm now dressed to go running, but I'm not going to go running. <laughs> I'm gonna get changed back into my clothes again. Then next of all, I bought some bras. Now I wear the... Um, you know the seamless the seam free like crop top bras like bralettes from um from primark all the time like they they are my favorite um and i can't remember the last time i wore a wired bra um they're just not comfortable and i hate them so i wear those all the time i also have a couple of pet um a couple of bras from Proundland actually which i really rate um which are super comfy um but the one thing I do find is if you're dressing up smart or you're going out somewhere nice um, and you wear one, they're not the most flattering. I mean, they are literally like, they like push everything down <laughs> and in um, and don't give you any lift <laughs> and they're not the most attractive. So I saw these, I was gonna go and buy some more of those anyway, because I wanted some, um, but I saw these and they are um, push-up seam-free bras. So. As you can see, I've got a black one and a white one. So they've got the nice thick band along the bottom. They're, they're not um, wired, but they've got like a nice um, thick band here and they are fully padded. So also these would be nicer for washing because the ones that I have, I usually keep the pads in, but when you wash them, they, they go all over the place and they bend and they, they never quite have the same shape. You probably should take them out before you wash them, but I never think to do that. Whereas these have got fitted pads in there. Um, so I just thought they might look nicer if you're actually going out somewhere. They'd be super comfy, but actually, you know, look nice as well and give you a bit of lift. Um, so those were £11 for two. So they're the same price as the ordinary seam-free ones, but you get three of those in a pack. Whereas these are, they're just two. They're a 12 to 14 is a medium, so they should fit me absolutely fine. Um, and they are adjustable on the straps as well at the back. So, so yeah, I'd be in, I'm intrigued to see how they look when you wear them because I'm hoping they'll make me look amazing. <laughs> then last but not least, I got this jacket. Um, I, I, I feel like I want to be a blazer wearing person. Like the, I see lots of people on online on Instagram 
you know, wearing jeans and a blazer or leggings and a blazer. I don't wear leggings. I never wear leggings. I just don't, I mean, I say I don't wear them. I wear them for running and for working out in, but I'm not a uh, wear leggings during the day sort of person. Um, so I think they look great a blazer and leggings and trainers and I think I love that look but it's just not me um and I have got a blazer like a ch I've got a white blazer which I've never worn I bought it last year and I meant to wear it and then I lost I just I don't know I just didn't have the confidence to wear it I just don't know whether it's me um so it's still in my wardrobe and then I also have a black sort of blazer um which is slightly more cropped which i have worn quite a bit it's nice uh, but it's quite thick um it's not a like a summer spring blazer anyway this isn't a blazer i don't know why i'm telling you about blazers but it is a jacket um which is more like a shirt jacket so i think this is more me i'm very much a dressed down sort of person jeans trainers and i just think this is more me so i got this it's kind of i guess it's like a military style jacket i thought this would look really nice um with a hoodie on underneath um it's got these sort of nice tortoise shelly buttons um it's got like a denim jacket sort of feel about it again it's quite boxy um it's got the pockets there and yeah i just thought this would look really nice i don't think i'd ever wear it d done up i think it's very much like an open shirt type jacket um but yeah i just really liked it so i thought i would get it and see what it looked like i got it in a medium which is a 12 to 14 and it was 22 pounds so slightly more than i would normally spend on something from primark but i kind of liked it and i thought oh i think i think that might look quite nice for the spring when it's you know not cold enough to want to wear a proper coat i've just i bought, bought a fleece a few months ago about a month ago from sainsbury's and i have literally worn it non-stop ever since i got it um and uh, as, as time goes on into the spring and the weather gets a bit warmer, I'm not gonna wanna wear that anymore. So I thought this would be a good replacement for that. Um, and I love the color too, this sort of khaki green. So, so yeah, I got that and I'll show you what that looks like too. Right, I thought I'd turn you on the side for this. Um, right, this is the jacket. I've just put it on with the top from earlier, um, but I think it would look really nice with a hoodie um, underneath um, and probably with, I don't know, some, different bottoms actually it doesn't look too bad with these um, but I think this is gonna be really useful um, it's super roomy this is a perfect size I wouldn't have wanted it any bigger there is room for a, like a thicker jumper underneath um, and I just think it looks really nice as I say I'm not sure about it with this top I think I think it looked definitely nicer with something different underneath something plain um, but yeah I really like this um, this is gonna be really useful for the spring so thumbs up for that too so that is everything that I bought from Primark. Not massive haul, but um, a nice a nice one nonetheless. So I hope you liked all of the items. Uh, thank you very much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video and sending me these lovely pieces of jewelry. If, um, <clears throat> if you want to have a look, obviously please do use the link below. You can get your 20% discount and there might be some sale items on there that you can get as well. Um, and I thoroughly recommend it. So thank you to Ana Luisa and I hope you managed to find some nice pieces of jewelry to treat yourself. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, Video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and I look forward to seeing you next time bye I can't let you go.